Well, as South Africa marks 30 years since the release of former President Nelson Mandela, uh, guests have gathered at the Cape Town City Hall where Nobel Peace Laureate Lima Bowie has just uh, delivered a lecture entitled The Prisons of Africa. For more on this, we cross to our reporter, Asanda Mbeche. Thanks very much, Asanda. So I see that uh, people are beginning to gather in front of the uh, City Hall. What's the weather like? They still have about an hour and 10 minutes before the president is due to deliver his speech. Good afternoon, Nobu, and welcome back to the City Hall right here in Cape Town. It is scorching hot in Cape Town today. The weather really, really, really showed up for this event because others was, others were thinking maybe it might rain, would, it, would the weather be great? It is so hot. Part of me is feeling sorry for the little school kids that have been gathered here for over an hour waiting for the president. But it's been a busy day in Cape Town indeed. It started in the morning with a real enactment of Madiba's walk from what was then known as Victor Fester prison at Pal by members of his then welcoming committee, the reception committee, the group of people that were gathered to ensure that everything goes right when he's released and experiences freedom for the first time. So people like the former minister Trevor Manuel were at the re-enactment at Pal in the morning for that part. We then moved to Cape Town where there was the memorial lecture in a closed engagement inside the city hall here where human rights activists were engaging on various issues that, that are linked to Madiba's legacy. Issues about addressing poverty, about addressing um, the state of, of, of infrastructure for the benefit of all people, issues of, of the plight of women across the African continent, issues of justice and new forms of justice where, where when with the Nobel Peace Laureate Lima Go, who was talking spoke about ensuring that people of this continent continent benefit from, from, from what comes out of infrastructure and minerals that are in this continent. So those are some of the issues that, we, that we've spoken about where she called on leaders of this continent to embrace values of service, of sacrifice, dedicating themselves to, to, to compassion and humanity, to serve all people as Madiba's values are reflected in, in all his teachings about the new world we want to build. Now I'm not alone here at the City Hall. My colleague Wilelani is downstairs with the crowds that have gathered here, along with uh, some of the dignitaries that were here. Earlier, when I looked over the balcony here, I saw people like uh, Prince Mangosutu Butelezi, who is here, Dr. Mampele Rampela, but Bulelani is downstairs and can talk to us a bit more also with the school kids that are here. Bulelani, who do you have right here with you? Well, uh, thank you, Asanda. What I can say, firstly, it's a scorcher of a day here in Cape Town, uh, 27 degrees Celsius to be specific. Uh, I suppose uh, a lot of uh, mirroring uh, of that day of 11 February 1990, because on that day as well, it was a scorcher of a day, but uh, that didn't stop the people uh, from converging and gathering here, waiting for their hero who had been imprisoned for over 27 years. Eh? 30 years later, we're back here again uh, to mark this 30th anniversary uh, of the release of, of Dada uh, Nelson Mandela. A lot of people, uh, I'm going to ask my cameraman to just show you uh, the kind of uh, uh, attraction uh, that this event has drawn. A uh, lot of school kids, a uh, lot of uh, activists, and of course, uh, to my right uh, is a lot of dignitaries uh, who have just come out of the city hall uh, to actually, you know, listen uh, and take part in that dialogue uh, led by Nobel Peace. His prize uh, laureate uh, uh, Lema uh, Gwabi. So now uh, we're gonna get some uh, feedback uh, from the people who have uh, taken time off, uh, braving this heat in terms of what they think of this day. Uh, I'm gonna come and talk to Mama Apa, Mama Ndibuli Sekuwe, Kalika Mokala before the Tetanam. Nanning Noltano Wakasio Ikaya Lise Yuki Ndilapa Cape Town Wokon Shala SIP. What ninety Panzuko Kubatina ngo kusi sesi sesi pelelo ngase bafunde ababandwana kuyo yonginda zezauti chetu apa bafunde 
ndiyavuya ngalento sikuyo namhlanje wena mhla uvi ungathi ufunde ndoni kwimisebenzi katata umadiba kwimisebenzi katata umandela ndinendlo namhlanje u RDP ongapha i Eastern Cape apho ndaningazi mna ubandaze ndifumana ephi indlu kodwa namhlanje ndi no RDP e Eastern Cape ndihlala e Cape Town but andinamsebenzi nihlala apha ekapa kodwa andinamsebenzi ndiyabulela into uba umandela wasivulela ixhoba nendlela yongena kumhlaba wama wabantu abamhlophe saqobozela sazokwazi ungathuthiswa xa sithesa ngena ngaphakathi all right, thank you so much. Uh, that's a lady just talking about uh, some of the issues uh, that she's uh, happy about uh, from the learnings of Utada Nelson Mandela, saying that she's uh, having an RDP house uh, because of his uh, work in fighting for democracy. But of course, uh, saying that uh, some of the challenges that she faces that she's unemployed. Uh, we get more reaction now uh, from a young learner who's also here out in the sun. Uh, Siswamu, why are you here? Um, I'm here because it's the release of a dad down Nelson Mandela and as a person who is young I'm here to celebrate this amazing day. And what have you learned uh, from his work? Well, I've learned a lot from the great Nelson Mandela. Well, the act of his selfness, being kind, the loving person that he was, has also been implemented in my life as well. All right, thank you so much. One of the learners uh, that is uh, here outside uh, the Cape Town City Hall. Uh, for now, we're going to say goodbye to our SABC3 viewers, uh, but for a live broadcast of these proceedings, you can continue watching uh, SABC Channel 404. Getting more reaction uh, right to my right, uh, CC, you are also here out in the sun. Uh, the meaning of this day for you, 30 years of the release of uh, Utatu Nelson Mandela. Yes, it's the 30th anniversary of the Nelson Mandela released from prison. Uh, it was today on 11 of February. Uh, Nelson Mandela, he fought for freedom for everyone. He was fighting the apartheid laws and he was fighting for the, against the domination of whites and the blacks. So he wanted an equal society so that now, now we are living like in an equal South African, like we go to school, we are not paying anything because of Nelson Mandela, he's fighting for those things. For instance, I was a public management student, I started for free since I'm coming from a poor background, so he, did, he opened opportunities for us as well. All right, thank you so much, Siswam. I'm sure uh, you're going to be having uh, quite some thought-provoking, uh, you know, uh, engagements uh, with uh, the people that will be delivering uh, a message here. Of course, uh, the keynote address uh, on this third leg of this uh, 30th anniversary is going to be President uh, Cyril Ramaphosa. is expected to deliver his speech around uh, 15:20. So you stay tuned uh, to SABC Channel 404. It's back to you guys in studio. Thanks very much, Bulilani. We're going to go for a quick break. More news for you thereafter.